A controversial Islamic group holds its first ever U.S. conference in a South Suburban hotel. Hizbut Tahrir denies claims by protesters that it has ties to terrorism. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Robbie Bagewell. And I'm Karen Jordan. The meeting is called The Fall of Capitalism and the Rise of Islam. ABC 7's Sarah Schulte here now with the story. Sarah. Well, Karen and Robbie, that title alone is what enraged dozens of protesters today. Many accuse the controversial Islamic group of being anti-democracy and pro-terrorism. Hizbut Tahrir insists it is a non-violent political group that is trying to spread its philosophy within the Muslim community. The group says it is not against the United States. Democracy and freedom! As they were heckled by protesters, two conference attendees needed a police escort to get to their car. The Chicago chapter of the international group, Hizbut Tahrir, held a day-long conference at this Oaklawn Hotel. The topic, the fall of capitalism and the rise of Islam. They want to replace our way of life. They want to replace our constitution. They want to take away our rights as Americans. And they want to replace it with a universal caliphate. It's imperative that people like we are out here and are at any opportunity that we have to express our opposition to what it is that they're doing. As the conference went on all day, protesters stood outside with American flags and signs. Many accused the controversial Islamic group as having direct ties to terrorism. It's only uh, the media, unfortunately, and some other people, conservatives, who make up these ideas that the Islam or Muslims are terrorists. Someone's terrorist is another person's freedom fighter, and I think that word terrorist is just thrown around loosely to label or demonize someone that, you know, you don't like or you hate. Hizbut Tahrir has been around since the early 50s. Organizers say they are a non-violent political and ideological group that denounces capitalism and promotes an Islamic nation state in the Muslim world. This is what we teach. This is what we train our uh, people. Uh, this is how we conduct ourselves. But it is not a philosophy shared by other Muslim groups. The mainstream Chicago Muslim community, and indeed the American Muslim community, does not subscribe to their philosophy. They have a very small and marginal following. While the Council on American-Islamic Relations, known as CARE, denounces Hizbut Tahrir's message, CARE says there is no evidence the controversial group is on any FBI or CIA terrorism hit list. Meantime, the Jewish Federation of Metropolitan Chicago released a statement today calling Hizbut Tahrir's ideology hostile to capitalism and other notions of Western liberalism. And also want to say there was a heavy police pre pre presence today, uh, but no incidents. Everything went fine. All right. Sarah, thanks.